Who is taller than me? <laughs> it's the hills. <laughs> She's remembered, neither by her scent nor by her looks, but by the contents of her heart. She was more of a mother to me than any other could be. Her love was as abundant as the open sea, and all of it she had for me. There has never been, nor will there ever be, a woman that was loved more than she. In fact, upon her passing, she became the very incarnation of love. A nymph, transformed to Cerveros himself, carried by Zephyr to restore Cupid's psyche. All hope, all faith she gave to me. Like her father before her, she drove me to do my best in everything. Now, they are intertwined in each other's arms recounting memories, as I am doing today. The heavens received an angel that was only on loan to me. But I thank the skies above for the opportunity, through absolute love, caring, and understanding. Her steps form the road which I follow into my future. The sadness I felt on the day of her passing has followed me since that day, rearing its head until I take the reins. But some days, I lose my grip, and, that's mo and that monster's head, it rips. It rips and it tears, and it removes my heart, so I feel nothing there. When people ask why I'm like this, I wish I could tell them, and they'd believe. But I'm seen as nothing more than a stubborn ass lying in the road to happiness. No one sees the load I bear or how it slows me down. On the day of her homegoing, I was pressed to speak a few words, though I regretfully declined. So now, I take this chance and I speak my truths, the thoughts that I had locked away in my heart, instead of putting them in the queue of my mind. I speak for all who have passed but are forgotten. I speak for all who have passed and are remembered. I speak for all who have come before, because without them, we wouldn't be here. I speak truth in the name of her whose name is, means beautiful in Spanish, lest she be forgotten. I speak to show true that she is remembered.